Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being a part of this. So today we're going to listen to wonderful Latin American music and we have pre-recorded the concert just in case we have any kind of connection issues. We also wanted to pre-record the concert in a beautiful space, which is a studio in Burlington, Ontario with my dear friend Katia Katsko, uh, who cannot be here today, but she is the pianist that you're going to be listening to. So we're going to get started and this is a concert. So I the best way that you can enjoy the concert is with your headphones. So if you have your headphones available, it's really going to help with the music and just enjoy some of the nuances and the details of the music. And also, um, there is a program available on the website, so I'm going to link the program for you. But either way, um, host and panelists, no, everyone. Okay, so there's, you can read a little bit about the program there. And also, um, the president of the Neuroflu Club recorded a message for us, and um, you're going to just sit back and relax, okay? So give me a couple of patient minutes because, okay, everyone's here. Yes, excellent. <laughs> so I'm going to get the videos ready for you. And video number one. Greetings to all music lovers and flute lovers. I am Jane Rosenfeld, current president of the New York Flute Club. By coincidence and by design, November at the Flute Club is dominated by important Mexican musicians. Last Thursday, I hope some of you caught the I Just Wanna Play presentation by Miguel Villanueva, which considered important Mexican composers and performers. Today, you will hear one of Mexico's most significant vibrant live wire flutists, Ageli Pimienta, very appropriate name. She has many monikers, crazy Mexican, must know flutist, grateful flutist, and she is unique, an amalgam of Western hemisphere and European influences, making her one of the most complex and rich performers working today. We discovered her through the Diaz del Moral Foundation founded by Darwin Cosme Sanchez, who is executive and artistic director of this important cultural hot pot, and fortunately, a member of the Flute Club board. Aheli has been teacher and mentor of foundation participants during the annual Puerto Rico Flute Symposium and the Puerto Rico Summer Festival, which are run by Darwin. Darwin, thank you. Please look ahead and mark your calendars for our virtual December dates. Thursday, December 16, 7 p.m., Etudes with Jin Ta, and Sunday, December 19, 5.30 p.m., concert with homegrown New Yorker, Sonora Slocum, first flute in Milwaukee. And now, bienvenida a Aheli. Hello, everybody. My name is Aleli Pimienta. My name is Katia Katsuko. I'm a pianist. And I'm a flutist. And we're here as guest artists of the New York Flute Club concert series. Thank you so much for having us. And we're playing beautiful pieces composed by Latin American composers. And thank you so much. We hope you enjoy it. Bye. See you there.
that was hard. That was hard to play. I just finished. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very silly. Thank you, everyone, for listening to that piece. Thank you so much. Uh, as you, for some of you that might not be familiar with some virtual recitals, is that we have to pre record. So they're very fresh videos. I promise you they're not from last year. Um, we just finished recording on Sunday. And uh, it was so much fun to record Sonata Simple. Sonata Simple is a piece by Mexican composer Joaquin Gutierrez Eras. And if you love the piece, please get in touch with me after the recital or any time because um, I can point you towards the music. This piece is very, very, I would say, appropriate for younger players too that are wanting to explore a more diverse repertoire, which is what we programmed it and also because it was one of the pieces that I played when I was very young, studying with uh, my teacher, Luis Alfredo Gonzalez in Monterrey. So now, thank you for your patience as I'm navigating through the videos. And we're going to listen to a piece that my uh, teacher, uh, Dr. Leonard Garrison, recommended that I program for this concert. So I want to uh, thank him for recommending this beautiful piece. It has become one of my most, one of my favorite pieces now. And even Katia, Katia wanted me to tell you that she fell in love with this piece. Um, Leo Brauer is a composer from Cuba and he is an incredible teacher. He has uh, published a lot of music and he writes really well and in a very beautiful, interesting way. So for the, um, the kids watching the concert, I know there's a lot of kids watching the concert. I want you to imagine that you are listening to from the beach, sitting at the beach, listening to the sounds of nature and imagining a very peaceful environment around you. So this is La Región Más Transparente, or the most, most transparent region. One second as I get our performance ready for you. Thank you. 
So that was a beautiful piece that we really wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you liked it. It really is just brings up a lot. Uh, and I think it speaks a lot about everyone's favorite extended techniques, which are harmonics. Yes. So again, keep chatting me if you would like the music or access to the music. That one's widely available, actually, in Flute World. You can find it. Uh, and in Mexico, uh, chat me to, to let you know how to, how to reach it. But you can also order from Flute World. So thank you for listening. And now we're going to move forward to the next piece in our program, which is a beautiful piece by Venezuelan composer Iglesitela. Now, Iglesitela and I have become really good friends. And I am humbled by his incredible kindness. He, um, he writes very, very, very incredible experimental music and also very beautiful, more traditional influence music. So I asked him to record a brief interview so you can listen to him. And then I will play you the video of our interpretation of his Vals Triste, which means sad waltz. So let's listen to Ikli. It's preparing. Nope. No, that didn't work. <laughs> of course I was going to mess up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is what the boy Jennifer told me, Alali, put them all in one video and I didn't listen to her. And this is what's ha happening to me now, okay. Hola, soy Ikli Citella, un compositor venezolano residenciado en Greenwich, Connecticut. Eh, me formé como compositor en mi propio país, luego completé un máster en Manhattan School of Music en Nueva York en el año 2015. He explorado distintos géneros, desde la música de cámara, la música coral, piezas concertantes, obras sinfónicas, electrónica y piezas incidentales para danza, teatro y cine. Evito encasillarme en un estilo definido y concreto. En mi trabajo hay piezas que son profundamente tradicionales junto con otras de carácter experimental. Aunque he escrito muchas obras que incluyen la flauta dentro de un ensamble o en la orquesta, tengo hasta ahora una obra para flauta sola y otra para flauta y piano. Las dos obras reflejan mi versatilidad estilística. 
la pieza para flauta sola en tres movimientos Spiritus fue incluida este año entre las obras del concurso internacional La Flauta Latinoamericana. Es una pieza que exige cierto grado de virtuosismo en el intérprete, con ritmos rápidos, este, técnicas extendidas y registros extremos. La pieza para flauta y piano vals triste es, en cambio, una obra que sintetiza distintos elementos tradicionales de la música popular venezolana. Eh, traté de lograr con ella un intimismo cercano al de los valses de Chopin. Esta pieza fue estrenada en Montpellier en el año 2000 en, dentro del marco de un festival de la Radio Francia. Es una de mis piezas más tocadas alrededor del mundo. Espero que realmente la disfrute.
So that was such a beautiful piece by Iglesitela. And I want to thank him for gifting me his music and for writing another piece, as he said, called Spiritus, that is only for those that are brave. So if you want to get his music for Spiritus and for Vals Triste, please write me. I can contact you directly with him and he will send you the score. They are very accessible when it comes to, to price. They're very, very accessible. Um, great, so we're going to keep going and we're going to keep going with, let me tell you, with, with the world premiere. Who's ready for a world premiere? This is the first time that this music is gonna to touch your ears. No one's ever heard it before, but the composer, of course, my husband that hears me practicing, my dogs and myself. So I, I am excited to share this piece with you. It was actually written in, in 2014. So it's been not played, which is kind of a shame because you're going to hear that is a very, very cool piece. I just love it. I absolutely love this piece and I think you're gonna love it too. And the composer, my dear friend Ernesto Cabrera, who is here with us today, is going to gift the New York Flute Club this piece to upload onto their website for everybody to have. And I think that's amazing because um, it's very generous of you, Ernesto, and I'm very grateful. Muchas gracias. It's a very good piece. Um, so we also, uh, I also interviewed Ernesto. So let me play you the interview and then Cheche. Hola, soy Ernesto Cabrera, soy flautista, profesor de la Facultad de Artes de la Benemérita Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. Realicé mis estudios tanto de licenciatura como la maestría en interpretación musical en la Facultad de Música de la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. Fui integrante del trío de Alientos Revueltas con quien grabé el disco Volantín. Actualmente soy el director artístico del Ensamble Madera Aire con quien ya hemos grabado dos discos compactos, en los que participé también como compositor de las tres piezas para flauta, clarinete y fagot y cuadraire, un cuarteto para madera. En este terreno de la composición, debo decir que soy un intérprete que eventualmente se acerca a esta experiencia creativa para tener la perspectiva del creador un tanto diferente a la del intérprete. En el caso de Cheche, esta pieza para flauta sola que compuse en 2014 para la flautista Araceli Popoca fue hecha a partir de una anécdota que ella misma me contó en la que su pequeño sobrino la llamó de esta manera. Así que asociando las, la nomenclatura alemana a las letras de esta palabra, obtuve el motivo dosimi dosimi, del cual derivan diferentes ideas, tanto de carácter, algunas virtuosísticas, otras más cantadas, eh, de lenguajes cromáticos, modales, tonales, y también con algunas intervenciones de técnicas extendidas, como el jet whistle, el tongue ram, o el canto simultáneo. Agradezco enormemente a la maestra Leli Pimienta que me haya honrado en programar esta pieza para este concierto. Gracias. And I forgot to mention that he mentioned it in his interview, but Ernesto is a fantastic flute teacher. He's obviously a great flutist, but he's such a good flute teacher. He's very caring with his students and he spends so much time supporting them and they're really shining in uh, central Mexico. So I am even nervous to play this video because it's such a great piece. So let's listen to Cheche. Let me set it up for you. Thank you. 
I was just excited. Congratulations, Ernesto. Thank you for your music. It was so fun to play. And yes, I love, I love you, Ernesto. You're fantastic, fantastic composer and flutist. Um, Ernesto told me that he takes a little while to write a piece because he's so busy, but we want to encourage him to write more. So hopefully he'll be writing us a new piece next year. I want him to feel pressured you know, social pressure to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep going with the recital and we have reached the last piece of the, of the recital, but I do have a surprise for you. Um, I was able to get, with the help of my dear uh, mentor and friend and teacher, Miguel Angel Villanueva, I was, we were able to reach um, the composer Eduardo Angulo. And Eduardo Angulo is very, a person that is not very available. He's not available on social media. He's not available on, you know, like you can't find him easily. He's also very busy composing all the time. So it's difficult to get a hold of him. And as you might know, he, or maybe not, it's okay. He's a very well-known composer in Mexico. And I said this in the webinar we had before. In Mexico, everybody knows Eduardo Angulo, like we know Beethoven, like we know Mozart. Eduardo Angulo, of course, everybody knows Eduardo Angulo and he's a very important composer for the flute. Um, if you attended Miguel Angel's talk on Thursday, you learned more about him, but he has dozens of works and he's gonna tell you more about it. So let's listen to the brief five minute interview. Yes, that he has. And then we're going to listen to his beautiful uh, flute sonata for flute and piano. He's written many sonatas, but this is the very first one. And I, it was an honor for me to learn it because it's such a wonderful piece. So with no further ado, let's listen to the interview and then I will take you directly to the sonata. 
I'm a Mexican flute player. I teach at the National University of Mexico, UNAM. I made my studies in Mexico City and then in France, Conservatoire National de Région de Saint-Maur, and then at the Ecole Normale de Musique de Paris. And then I came back to Mexico. I won the, the post as teacher, a teacher at the university. And then I started to play 20 years ago. I made a solid career in my country. As a violinist, uh, I graduated in the National Conservatory here in Mexico City. And then I went to study in Holland in the Royal Conservatory of The Hague, where I graduated with the Prix de Solans. Then I came back to Mexico. Uh, and then afterwards, I completely dedicated myself to composing. And I have been composing, I think, the last uh, 35 years. That's the only thing I do now. To, to write. Uh, it was by a friend who uh, was uh, going to present her first CD with a chamber music group called Signos. And at that presentation, they played a piece by Eduardo Angulo. Just before, one or two days before that concert, I heard uh, do his first uh, work for flute and orchestra called Los Sentinelas de Terza. And I just like a lot. Yeah. At that concert, I saw Eduardo at the, in the hall and just approached, present myself, produce myself. And I wow. told him, uh, I'm Miguel Angel Villanueva, flute player, and I want to commission to you a flute concert. And that's it. <laughs> the rest is history. The rest. <laughs> well, uh, we started collaborating, I don't know how many, 20, 20 years ago? Yes. About 20 years ago. It's been a wonderful collaboration. He's, he's a wonderful player. He's willing to do every little crazy thing I write. <laughs> So I, I, I don't have to restrain myself for anything. I just can I can write whatever I want, whatever I like, and, and then he has to suffer <laughs> and try and, and learn it and he always does it fantastically and, and, and I think this collaboration has been very exciting and fun. I have written uh, for him nine flute concertos. That includes uh, for concert for flute, for two flutes, for flute and harp, for flute and uh, guitar, and a triple concerto, which is flute, uh, uh, viola, uh, uh, viola, and uh, piano. piano, and eight uh, chamber uh, music uh, works for flutes, for flute, flute and harp, and uh, viola, flute and piano, flute and harp. Flute and string quartet, flute and string quartet, and a clarinet and harp. I don't know what else. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of words. It's a, a very well written music. Everybody loves. But not only flute players, uh, the orchestra players too. I think that in some years, uh, this whole, this repertoire will be uh, the, the standard repertoire in Mexico. Well, it, it is uh, uh, it was a commission by uh, Miguel Angel. I wrote it. Uh, I was in a very strange state state of mind, and so I wrote it in, in a, in a pop pop sonata. Sort of the, the premiere was in, in Anaheim at the, uh, the National Flute Convention at that year. Whenever I write for, for flutes, I always think of Miguel Angel. I'm very much influenced by him. We have done so many things together. I have heard him so many times doing my music and so well that every, every, every time I write for, for flute, is, I imagine Miguel Angel playing it. Well, thank you, New York Flute Club. For, for watching and please enjoy the concert.
So I thought that was so nice of Miguel Angel and Eduardo to share some information exclusively for the New York Flute Club about this piece. We don't know very much about the, now we know inside information together. So this is fantastic. Thank you, Miguel Angel and Maestro Eduardo Angulo. So uh, this piece is three movements and it is about 20 minutes long. So I just wanted to let you know that it's a big, big flute work. So if there are any children here that need a little break, feel free to go take a little break. And uh, thank you so much again for listening. And I would like to, um, does anyone need a little break at all? Do we keep going? My, my hosts, the New York Flute Club, we're good. We're good. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Jeff. So we're going to keep going with this wonderful piece. And thank you again. I hope you enjoy it. And the share screen is coming. Keep the party going. That's right.
That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us to play. Thank you so much for inviting Patty and I. Um, we're so grateful. And I really hope you like the music. And I really hope you stay in touch. And just know that to keep track of the New York Flute Club uh, programs, they're all, the most, I think all of them are free. Most of them are free. It is, it is a charitable organization and they do present people constantly and very interesting events. So please, um, if you didn't know about it, you can keep track of their virtual events. You can also go to their YouTube channel to access the concerts that you've missed. And I know this one will be there. So I want to ask my hosts if they would like to, um, uh, if you, they would like to say something to the audience or you would like me to say goodbye to the audience, let me know. Just thank you so very much, Al Hali. This was really fantastic. And you can sign us off. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And I just want to remind you to stay in touch and to uh, look for the handouts. If you missed the webinar, um, we told a very nice story that my husband and I wrote uh, a diversity and equality story that is going to be available uh, for free, of course. Uh, it was written specially for the webinar for the New York flute club so you're going to be able to find it on their website and uh, also there's some recommendations some readings for diversity and equality for everyone that i really love so i hope you can also access those through the new york flute club's website probably in in a matter of a week or so or probably less but if you want if you're interested in that please do let me know and write me directly thank you to all the composers that are here thank you to katia katsko Thank you to everyone. Have a wonderful night. Bye.